if there's an incident the officer is driving to, they will see what the officer who's already on site sees from their camera. You know, they'll see what's on the audio video network. Uh, our next generation police car is coming out very soon. It's, it's my favorite police car. It's my favorite car, actually. It's Elon's favorite car. <laughs> uh, it's incredible. Uh, I know too much about it. Some of it's, some of it's still uh, to be disclosed. But it, among other things, it's um, very safe, very fast. Um, it's got a stainless, steel, a stainless steel body. And we don't have to add a screen to it because or we don't have to add cameras to it because already we, we actually use their existing cameras and their existing screen to put our application, uh, our, our application, our uh, uh, up for people in the uh, in the Tesla vehicles. You can use a non-Tesla vehicle, and we can enhance it, or you can use a te you can use a Tesla vehicle. This all this stuff is up and running. It's actually deployed in Stanislaus County, I know, for the police, and I believe also for the fire which, uh, you know, one, one uh, command center. Uh, it's it's uh, Stanislaus County is uh, a rural area uh, in California near Yosemite Valley. And of course, uh, it's an area, California summers are getting, are getting drier also, and, and, and an area vul vulnerable to, to brush fires. Uh, and we're very worried about, again, uh, brush fires and firefighters who are in remote areas where there is no cell service. So we have to communicate with firefighters by, you know, using satellites, and we have to inform firefighters in a safe way using, again, robotic drones. We have some really exciting news to share with you about this contemporary electric pickup truck. Tesla is a company that has upended the status quo in a very specific industry and shown that electric vehicles can be dependable and quick. It has also shown how it can improve previous vehicles with things like the Cybertruck, Chicken and Semi, as well as the Model Y. You may have noticed that the digital truck has a remarkable design, featuring a body made of tempered steel and an enormous battery. No one could match the scale and scope of Musk and Tesla. And I think that lead continues to further be there, and I think that's what's happened. A little humble pie, maybe, with traditional automakers. Well, John Lawler was on yesterday, uh, CFO of Ford, and he was talking about how there was a different audience for the initial Teslas because it was the first adopters. And they were willing to pay a price premium, and they were willing to come in, and they were Tesla adopters. The ones who are coming in now are looking for price, value, uh, quality, et cetera. It is a different pool or that can be pulled away more aggressively. In that kind of environment, does Tesla's margin story start to get eroded? I think, and, and, and John talked about it. I think that's, right now, that's the balancing act. Because if you look from a margin perspective, it's really been volume over margins. And the street, you know, so far, that's been the right strategy. Next two, three quarters, you need to see margins trough out, level out here. But when you look at Cybertruck, look, essentially they'll be losing, let's say, 30,000, 40,000 per vehicle for the next year and a half. Then it starts to become profitable. But that is the near-term pain for long-term gain that they need to do in what continues to be this green tidal wave. You know, to John's point when he's saying people just want a Tesla, I wonder how much that's people wanting to ride Elon Musk's wave mm -hmm. and how much that was really the feeling a number of years ago. How much some of the recent high-profile discussion around Elon Musk with X, with his colorful interview and, and commentary toward advertisers. Does that draw people in or push them away? I think there's still a question there because to some it emboldens them. In terms of Musk, what he represents, he's the anti, that, that's, you know, I, I affiliate, you know, w with the Tesla. But then on the other hand, you alienate. And the problem for, I think, Tesla investors, when you sell consumer products to the masses, you don't want controversy. But again, Musk is Musk, goes to the beat of a different drum. And you see, and that's, you know, we saw that maybe overshadow a bit in terms of what happened at the, at the New York Times event, uh, the Cybertruck unveiling that's four years in the making but at the end of the day musk will continue to i think innovate and, and especially when it comes cyber truck a historical moment in light of the digital truck profits fellow benefactor larry ellison a former member of the tesla board recently revealed his plan to support a state-of-the-art patrol car 
When he joined the Tesla board at the end of 2018, it became clear that he was a financial backer of the company. By October of 2021, Larry Ellison had acquired slightly more than 15 million Tesla shares, making him the second largest financial backer of the Ultimaker. The digital truck is a state-of-the-art electric pickup truck that has generated a lot of buzz since its unveiling back in 2019. It's an ambitious and bold project that has the potential to propel Tesla to new heights or fail spectacularly marvelously. The vehicles energize sentiments and started images and jokes, and it addresses Tesla's vision, representing things to come, and rocks the boat of the auto industry. However, the inevitable question is, how fruitful is this truck going to be? From Larry Ellison's perspective, we should see this, but before we do, if you like this kind of happy click that button to buy in and activate current notifications on stay updated on everything happening with Tesla. Despite this, some fans have even better ideas for the digital truck. One such fan is Profit Core supporter and major Tesla financial backer Larry Ellison, who just revealed his most recent concept for the Tesla Cybertruck. This plan is different and promises to be a really exciting ride. The success of the Cybertruck will depend on how well it can compete in the traditional pickup truck market, which makes up the largest portion of the U.S. auto industry. The truck features a glass roof that can withstand blows from guns and demolition hammers, a treated steel body that is resistant to DSE and consumption, a spacious lodge that can fit six people, a large bed that can carry 3,500 LEBs of freight, a versatile air suspension system that can adjust the ride height, and high-tech self-driving framework that uses cameras, radar, and ultrasonic sensors to navigate traffic and avoid accidents. Therefore, the advent of this digital truck is not only captivating for fans of automobiles, but it may also have a significant impact on Tesla's stock exhibition, giving it a successful launch, and good market research could increase investor confidence given the crucial boost to the automaker's revenue that the truck would provide. The impact of the truck on Tesla's valuation will depend on how successfully it can fulfill its obligations and overcome its challenges. Right now, we ought to look into Larry Ellison's plans for the Cybertruck. Ellison's arrangements for the Cybertruck appear to be very fascinating. He figures Profit would utilize the current screen and cameras inside the Cybertruck to send its product answers for police work, including cloud-based applications, satellite and earthly organizations, and man-made intelligence, and he likewise said that Profit Framework will be dependable, secure, and strong, and would statement never bomb. This might be very hopeful, yet there is an urgent highlight. Consider here, and that will be that Ellison isn't the one in particular who assumes that the digital truck would make an extraordinary police vehicle. Even Elon Musk's the president of Tesla has likewise communicated his excitement for the digital truck as a cutting-edge squad car, and he's likewise depicted the truck as being intended for sharp-edge sprinter, alluding to the science fiction film set in a tragic future. Such countless individuals perhaps don't actually see the genuine capability of the vehicle. Yet it's plainly a vehicle that will change individuals' perspectives about EVs and one that will support Tesla income, evaluating it in the right valuation with Tesla's income on the high side. Tesla investors may benefit more from a fundamental increase in the stock price of the company. Ellison's plans to convert the Cybertruck into a law enforcement car suggest that the Tesla bull at Profits Cloud World 2023 conference in Las Vegas, he declared that distributed computing and electric vehicles are driving the preparations for a future era of law enforcement. Ellison showed out a mock-up of the digital truck equipped with a bull bar and Profit uniform crisis light alarms. The Tesla bull praised the digital trun for its creative plan, security highlights, execution, and installed tech. He also promised that the company would pursue the best option for policing specialists on call. New many people who have studied the cyber true have suggested that there were a few unreported elements that would have made it much more notable. This is particularly intriguing because the cyber truck has received praise for its unexpected highlights, which we are aware of.
so talking about the other unreported elements is especially interesting. 